Hard to believe in 1985, the Air Force Academy came within one win of playing for the national championship. In 2013, the team could be fortunate to play for a bowl game. Managing editor Pete Futak in studio here. And uh, we always tip our hats with a lot of respect to these young men. But it could be an ugly year for the Academy. I here, have Pete. made this mistake before. I will not make it again. I've been chastised time and again by various Air Force people, including players and coaches, for underestimating just what they do there. Every year it seems like they're only returning two or three starters on offense. And you say, oh, there's no way they're going to have to reload this entire thing. But they have an apprentice system there that always seems to work. There's always a next man up thing that's happening. Okay, fine, they lose this uh, running back or this quarterback. And they have another guy who kind of fits the mold and they stick him in there and everything still kind of works. They still finished second in the nation in rushing last year. The whole system worked even though they had a lot of turnover happening. And it's going to happen again. They do lose Connor Dietz at quarterback. They lose a slew of running backs. But again, it's going to be Air Force. The system works. The system works. Now, the last time we saw the Falcons defense, I mean, it was getting decimated yep. by Fresno State and Rice. So any chance we'll see improvement on this side of the football. It's just sort of a nature of Air Force. I mean, it's going to be uh, inconsistent. It's going to have problems. There are going to be times it's going to be ripped apart by the better uh, better offensives. But the problem is, you know, as long as the Air Force offense is doing its, jo its job with ball control and it's able to keep the th ground game moving, then the defense gets a little bit of a break. Uh, the defense is going to have some problems. But every once in a while, if the time of possession is like 37 minutes to the offensive side, then the defense should do just fine. With 12 teams now in this conference, the Mountain West goes to division and will add a championship game this year. So how will the Falcons fare in this newly formed Mountain Division? They'll be fine. They're going to beat the dregs of the Mountain West. They're going to lose to the big boys like Fresno State and Boise State. Uh, Non-conference, they have to play Notre Dame, which is always going to be interesting. The game against the Irish is at home. It comes after another home game against San Diego State. So they get some time to kind of gear it up a little bit. They get the Army and Navy games. With, if Air Force is rolling, they should be able to win those. I think they lose at Boise State. I think they lose at Nevada. I think they lose to San Diego State. But I think they roll through the UNL. LVs and New Mexico's of the world end up eight and four. All right, eight and four there in Colorado Springs. Pete, thanks very much. For more Mountain West previews, including Boise State, watch the videos on Campus Insiders.